the 3MG Nation, and welcome to the 3MJ Podcast, man. Hit the applause button for me, man. You already know what it is, man. Yes, sir. We here. Yes, sir. Today is February 3rd, and it's, feel me, it's Black History Month. Real quick off the top of your head, name somebody important in black history. Come on, bro. Rosa Parks. Martin Luther King. Those are generic, you feel me? I got my boy George Washington Carver, feel me? Y'all don't even know who that is. He made peanut butter. Y'all wouldn't even have peanut butter and Come jelly on. without that man. Bro, 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 Frederick Douglass, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, Malcolm X, bro. What are you <laughs> talking about, bro? <laughs> no, nah, I just had Look to. Say that. That. Hold on, hold on, bro. <laughs> Emmett Till. Come on, bro. Emmett Till, Come on, man. man. Emmett Till, that's a tough one. I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh lie. my Come God, on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Emmett Till, nah. Peanut butter and jelly. That's all I gotta say. Peanut but nah, butter. they all are important. I was just trying to feel me shed some light on Black History Month. You feel me? Of course, of course. Yeah, um, sure. As you can see, you feel me? Um, my boy Miles over there at the end, he not here. He's in Mexico on vacation, so ridiculous. It's He's just slacking. us three today for y'all, but we do have a special guest at the end of the episode for y'all, so stick around for that. Um, Sir. Yeah, man. Uh, the last episode, bro, I introduced everybody else, but I didn't even introduce myself. That. I said Miles, Manny, Mustafa, <laughs> and I just completely got right into it. I didn't even say that my name was Jaquil. I'm one of y'all hosts as well, so That's feel me? Tough. shout out to me. Shout out to my boy Sadical behind the camera. You feel me? Moody TV. He is our editor. Yes, yes sir. And now he does get a that, lot of work for us. Yeah, that man has flowers. Have That's to. the goat over there. Have to. And have y'all to can't the really see it, but the fit is <laughs> fitting today. You heard? Yes, <laughs> my sir. My boy going crazy over there. <laughs> feel me? But feel me? He, he do his work. He do his work. You feel me? As always, we appreciate a like and subscribe. You feel me? Comment down below topics you want us to yes, talk sir. about. Um. Follow us on Spotify. Um, give us five stars wherever you get your um podcast. Tap in with the YouTube. Yeah, man, man. we got a lot of Subscribe. topics to cover today, bro. All right, we got a so lot of topics sure. to cover today. Let's um, get straight into it. Wait, wait, real quick before we do that. What's up? Your um take about <laughs> the Ravens? I gotta say that, bro. I'm sorry. What happened? <laughs> all, right, all right, so look, I'll say it just like this, bro. I'm an Odell fan, bro, and wherever he go, I want him to get a ring. And you know what? Mm. Lamar was balling, so I felt though as though they should have won. It's just Pat Mahomes is the best football player in the world, bro, and he's going to get a ring. End of discussion. Okay, before we even – I'm not even going to jump into that. We're going to get to the Super Bowl. Best believe we're going to get to the Super Bowl, but, like, you feel me? We'll talk about it later. I get it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Can't beat my dog. Um, We got to cover – before we get to the bowl, we got to cover the championship games, both in the AFC and the NFC, you feel me? Turn me up. Um, I low-key want to start off with the AFC. Um, I'm going to just read y'all some stats from that game from both QBs, all right? Talk to me. So, the end of the game was a 17-10 win from Kansas City. Mahomes threw for 241 yards. And a passing TD to my boy Travis Kelsey. Um, shout out Taylor Swift. You feel me? I'm not looking. Yo, forward to her she Super Bowl. got the she got the best movement in the world right I'm now. I'm not looking forward to her Super Bowl performance. Bro, not, Swifties, bro, you're not a Swifty? No. All right. <laughs> but feel me, he uh threw 39 passes. He completed 30 of them. Um, yeah. And on the other end, you feel me? You got my boy Lamar Jackson. He threw 272 yards with 37 pass attempts on 20 completions. He also ran for 54 yards on eight carries. All right. Um, he did get sacked four times and through an interception, but you know, things happen. He was under pressure. What do y'all think was the cause of him losing that game? You want to know the truth? All right, go I ahead. think it's because Odell didn't play to the fourth quarter. But whatever, that's none of my business, bro. That's none of my business. Mm. Odell didn't play to the fourth quarter. Bro, come on, bro. <laughs> he played it. all game. No, 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 you no. You saw no. the prep talk. Oh, no, bro, no. Terrell Suggs. Yeah, bro. bro Ray Lewis trying to hype him up. Bro, 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 bro. Yeah. His first, his first attempt was the fourth quarter. That's mm. what I meant. I'm sorry. I know I got to be. One reception, correct. 12 yards? I thought he was supposed to show up. It was he got that prep first, talk. It was his first what happened? attempt of the <laughs> game. <laughs> It was the <laughs> it was what the fir- it was the first of his oh. attempts of the game. You got that boy anyway. locked up. I told you, Patty Mahomes. Well, I told you, Chiefs. Well, like I can't see him. I'm sorry, Manny. You're right. I can't see You're him. Right, that's bro. Patty. <laughs> well, that's I will Patty. S- hey, uh, <laughs> that's Patty. Besides that being Patrick Mahomes, you feel me? You know, Patty Mahomes, you feel me? He is a GOAT of our generation. I do believe the downfall of the Baltimore Ravens that game was just them not playing their number one defense no. and how they ranked in the regular season, bro. Bro, it's that, but also. It? That it second half, bro. Hold on. I got go you. Ahead. That second half, bro, they played like a number one defense, like they ranked. No, no, no. Me? Of course. Um, Patrick Mahomes got in there with Travis Kelsey. He threw nine for nine to Travis Kelsey in the first half, bro. 
nine for nine. Every time he threw to Travis Kelsey in the first half, he got the ball. He he went thirty for thirty nine overall. That's seventy seven percent. Yeah. So, so look, let That's me in tap in. So I just think it came down to experience. Like no offense, like to the Ravens, you know, mm-hmm. coaches and stuff like that. Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes together. I don't think they're beatable. I'm not mm. going to lie. Like, I just uh, – like, the play calls were just yeah, yeah, precise. Andy. They were yeah. just to the Rob. point they're, they didn't they waste a, they didn't waste a lot of energy for the mm-hmm. offense. Like, everything was just mapped out, and I give it to them. They played a hell of a game. Mm. I also think that uh, my boy um, Lamar Jackson was not playing his game. He definitely should have ran the ball more. I feel like the defensive pressure of the line from the, um, from the Kansas City Chiefs definitely held him. In a, in a, in a, in a, <laughs> he was in, in a, a box. In a box. He was in a box. He like, was in a box. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know what Lamar is going to do. He's going to run the ball majority of the time. He's obviously passing. He works on his passing. But Chiefs game plan for that. They know yeah. Lamar is going to run the ball. So yeah, they're going to have him in a box. Yeah, man. They also gave up 65 yards, bro, in penalties. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. oh, oh, oh. 65 oh. yards in penalties. And, so. and that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Zay Flowers. Oh yeah. Zay Flowers. Um, I feel like we have to not only give him his flowers because he had a good game. Ironic. But also, but also, the way you just bro. Oh, what was it? The um, he made a great catch mm-hmm. and they brung it back fifteen yards. Yeah, that was the that was the only Andre. passing touchdown yeah. that Lamar Jackson had that game was to Zay Flowers. Exactly. Yeah. And then also, so you have that one mistake, right? Mm-hmm. But then you also have. Tried to dive into the end zone and mm-hmm. got stripped. Those mm-hmm. are key, and I'm talking 14 points. Plays. Yeah, those are game changing plays. When, it, no, when the score sure. is only 17 10, those are game changing yeah, plays, bro. Can't do that, bro. Those are game changing plays, man. So overall, Zay played well. He had five receptions, played 115 great. yards, and one TD. You can't yeah. can't beat yeah. that. He nah, did his he, all. He, he, yeah, bro, he did his all. They both had great games, bro. Um, yeah. Other than that, Lamar was sitting in the pocket too much for me. But like you said, they game plan for that. So it's only so much you could do. Um, but you know, hats off to the Kansas City Chiefs for making it to the Super Bowl yet again. Uh, seven times now. Six. Oh, seven, seven, seven yes. times. Seven, seven times that um Patrick Mahomes uh, won an AFC championship or made it to an AFC championship game. Yeah, that's insane. Look, fun fact: Pat Mahomes has been a starter for six years. In those six years, he made six AFC championship games. Mm. Yeah, that's elite. That's, that, <laughs> that man that's is elite, that's, bro. That's very elite. That man and four is. Super Bowls as well. On yeah. top of that, four Super Bowls. That's yeah. elite. How many wins he got in the Super Two? Yeah, got two rings. He got two rings. Yeah, he has about, two rings right oh. now. Yeah, I ain't gonna say. I, hey. I ain't gonna talk about. Hey, about Kansas. Well, yeah, he's hey, about Kansas. to get a third one. Hold on, hold on. Hey, heard Kansas. Heard it here first. He's Kansas. about to get a third one. Kansas, you got you one. Mm. <laughs> you got you yeah, one. You about to switch sides now? Hey, man. Hey. Hey, you saw we you saw we spanked Sip. the Ravens last week. All right, bro. Cut Sip it over. out. Cut it out, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> Nah, we got to shift over to the NFC. We got to shift over to the NFC Championship between the Detroit Lions and the 49ers. So can I ask this question? Hold no, on. What's up? Do the Lions just suck? No. Okay. That, that okay. doesn't what? even sound right. That's no, no, no. I, I just asked the question. That was it. I just, I just wanted I, to know. I wanted to know where y'all head was at. Cause, uh, nah, I'm, I'm going to tell you. you feel me? <laughs> so the, the final score of that game was 34 to 31, San Francisco victory. You feel me? Um, Jared Goff threw 273 yards, 41 pass attempts on 25 completions, and he passed the ball to Jason Williams, to yeah, to Jameson Williams. My apologies for his only t- um, passing touchdown. Um, Brock Purdy threw 267 yards with 31 pass attempts on 20 completions with one interception, and he only had one passing touchdown to Brandon Ayuk. Um, so feel me. That being said, break down that game for me, y'all boys. I'll give my interjection, but break down that game for me. I'll let you go first, man. No, I was going to say, they played pretty well. 49ers, they played well, for sure. I think both sides played well. Mm. But, um, yeah, Brock Purdy, like you said, he uh, threw, for, threw for 64%, 20 mm. for 31. Mm. Chris, Christian McCaffrey, 20 carries, 90 yards, two TDs. Mm. Can't, you can't stop him. That's Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's crazy, gonna get, He's going to get his touchdowns. Yo. Um, Debo, eight receptions eight for 89 yards. That's mm. regular Debo stats. Mm-hmm. You know, even higher. Mm-hmm. But uh, Samuels is a problem, but continue. Yeah, now you're, yeah, he definitely is a problem. He be he's he's stand on business. I ain't gonna lie, he stand on business. Cam Newton was saying that Brock Purdy's the um, 
the tenth best player on that team. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw. Insane. Yeah, Cam. Yeah, Dude. I don't, yeah, I don't know what Cam's uh thinking right now. Yeah, that was crazy, Cam. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. That was a crazy take. You saw when he started last season. When he got to start last season, mm-hmm. he started killing off rip, mm-hmm. and he's been consistent with that. Yeah. So from last season, from starting to this season, so I, Cam's just talking. In I my just, opinion. I just think between the patience of Brock Purdy and the offensive juggernaut that is Christian McCaffrey, all on offense, bro, they're just too, too much to deal with, bro. Nobody's stopping Christian McCaffrey. When they get into the red zone, bro, you know, know you know what they're playing. They're going to do that line drive straight to the middle with Christian McCaffrey taking that ball up. Yeah, most of the time, yeah, of like, course, like seventy percent of the time, that's their play when they're in a, when they're five from from the end zone. You know what I'm saying? No one's stopping. No McCaffrey. one's stopping McCaffrey. No like, one's he's stopping a problem, McCaffrey. Bro. Yeah, man. And then uh, Jared Goff, like you said, um, two hundred and seventy three yards, one TD, twenty five for forty one. Sixty one percent altogether. Sheesh. Yeah, that's that's still good. That's some good throwing. Mm-hmm. Um, David Montgomery, fifteen carries, ninety three yards. David Montgomery, one touchdown. Sam Laporta, a tight end, which yeah. he's a he's underrated. Uh, he's an underrated tight end. For In the, our reality, in the Mustafa. In our reality, do you know why the um the Lions lost that game? <laughs> do you know why the Lions lost that game? Talk to me why they lose the game, bro. Because of coaching, not because of the way. Jared Goff and the Lions are playing. It was a coaching. So do you think? Coaching thing. Okay, so and this is what I said. This is just what I said with the Ravens and Chiefs. Mm-hmm. Do you think it was like coaching necessarily, or do you think you just lack the experience? Because for me in basketball, right, like when the Kings went up against you know the Warriors and they went Game Seven and they ended up the Kings ended up losing mm-hmm. that series, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a basketball guy, so that's why I'm really relating it to that. So. To me, it came down to, in clutch moments, the Warriors had been there before. Mm. 49ers, they've just been there before. For a fact. The Detroit Lions just haven't, and I feel like in that moment, like, they just couldn't handle the pressure of it being a playoff game. Hold on, man. I know you want to say something, but let me, just, let me just say this real quick. I do agree with that because experience plays a large part into these clutch moments, but in – this specific game, in particular, it was my favorite of the two championships game, championship games. Um, the Detroit Lions should have kicked that field goal. They should have went for that. Instead of going for it on fourth down, they should have kicked that field goal, bro. They lost by three. <laughs> like, yeah, for sure. They lost sure. by three. You know, it helped them in the regular season because in the regular season, they were doing that, and it was converting for them in the regular season. And if it didn't happen in the regular season, they lost. So what? Next week. In the playoffs, there's no next week. He yeah, gambled. Sure. He gambled, and it was just a bad coaching bad decision. Coaching decision. That's that's just what I think it happened. But you're absolutely right that um, you know, experience in those moments plays a factor on whether a team can close out those games. You know, I mean, yeah, experience plays a factor. You saw with Chiefs and and Baltimore Ravens, Lamar is one and four in the playoffs. Yeah, no one knew that. Uh, that's speaking Chiefs, of and Chiefs been all the way. <laughs> speaking of um records in the Past playoffs, yes. Speaking of records in the playoffs, you know, um, Patrick Mahomes is one playoff win away from um, surpassing Peyton Manning for most for playoff wins. That's fire. Peyton Manning has fourteen playoff wins. I, I think he's fourteen and thirteen. I think Patrick Mahomes is now fourteen and what two or three? I'm not. Mis- I'm not I can't. That is two. nuts. I did. He's been to four that. Super Bowls, so he lost two of them. So he's four and two in the playoffs. Yeah. Fourteen and fourteen and two 14 in the playoffs. And two. Yeah. And That's honestly, tough. at the end of Patty's career, he's gonna be next to Brady. Obviously, oh yeah, he's, he's second sure. best QB of all time for sure. In my opinion, fourteen, bro. Payton, you said he's the second best all time. At the end of his career, yes, he'll be the, uh, second, he'll best be the second best. I love all that time. take. I love that. That's take. nice. That's nice. Yeah. So just predictions for the Super Bowl between you know Forty ers We getting a rematch. You know, we getting a rematch between the Forty ers and the um, Kansas City Chiefs. Who y'all got? You know me. I'm going Chiefs. <laughs> Chiefs, baby. Oh, I've wow. been Five games in a row called Chiefs. <laughs> That's, hey, four for four me. Kansas City, I'm going to look you <laughs> dead. Five in for five me. Yeah, Kansas City, I'm going to look you dead in your face, and I'm going to say this. <laughs> Don't make this another short. Yeah, y'all sent me home. Y'all better win. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm rocking with the Chiefs. Man. I'm going to be the outlier, man. I got 49ers. I just, I'm gambling because, in all honesty, both teams have been there before. Um, it just boils down to which duo is better, Kelsey and Mahomes or Purdy and McCaffrey. 
Them boys is too little <laughs> <laughs> on the 49ers to handle Kelsey. Yeah, Who's right. stopping them? Who's stopping McCaffrey on the... Nah, we're, we're there. We're on. <laughs> All right. As soon as, as, soon as so. we saw the run game, how we locked up the run game for Lamar. Let's see, bro. We're going to be contained. Caffrey's going to get his, but we're going to contain Caffrey. All right. I Guarantee. I hope so, I hope so man. I, I'm just, I want 49ers to win. I want 49ers to win. That's it. I want uh my boy Christian McCaffrey and Brock Purdy to get a ring. Okay. So. I want them to win. So. Yeah, nah. I say, I got Patty. Yeah, man. So that's all the Patty for the win, my dog. Patty for the win. Patty and Cal. Two against one. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Miles would have probably picked uh, the Kansas City, too. So it probably would have been three against one. Uh, yeah. So it's all right. You feel me? I miss my brother in Make this one a short. <laughs> I Make miss Miles, short. bro. The 49ers taking it. Super Bowl 58. Make this one a short. Feel me? Just how you blew me up, you better blow him up. If they lo- Yo, if they lose, bro, you better blow him up, bro. That's messed up, bro. Yo, nah, yeah, I know this your man's, but yo, bro, like, come on, bro. Right. Nah, yeah, you was looking crazy on that. Bro, that was so funny, bro. <laughs> that was hilarious. Why are you wallet on me today? Like, what's up with him, bro? Manny, yo, Manny, Manny on his body today, bro. Yo, you I can't wait. Normal. To, you know I can't, this. It's normal. I can't wait. You had some casa today? I, you know like, casa nah. this morning? I can't. Nah, wait. Not at I, all. I can't wait till we talk about the NBA. Yeah, getting into it right now. Me. Talk you're to getting me. into it right now. Me. Talk to fact, me. You talk about something that you want to talk about for the NBA. Go ahead. Let me. We got time. Let me, let me just get into my notes, real. We quick. got time. Uh, say less. So, okay, the first topic. I'm gonna look y'all dead in y'all eye yet again. NBA, talk to me. Why Trey Young not no uh, All Star? Hey, that was talk to me. And you know what? And you know what? Let me get y'all. And hold on. Let me get y'all some facts because uh, you know we talked about it um, a little bit off uh, air. But uh, Trey Young's stats for the last couple of seasons have just been immaculate, and we keep overlooking it. So indeed, I agree. Trey Young, 2021 season. 25.3 points per game, nine assists, ah, 9.4 assists a game. Does not make an all-star team. Cool. 2023, we get into 26.2 points a game, 10.2 assists a game. Does not make an all-star team. Cool. 2024, 27 points per game, 11 assists a game. Does not make an all-star team. Talk to me. Man. Talk to me. How do we feel? You know that's my guy. I've been watching him since high school. I'm a Trey fan. He's been snubbed three He's years in a row. It's snubbed. crazy. Well, three years altogether being snubbed is crazy. Averaging 25 and 10 plus mm. assists. You should be an all-star. Fun fact. There has only been three players in this instance where players average 25 points and 10 assists without being named an all-star. Trey Young in 2022 and 2023 season. Averaging 26 and 10. Trey Young uh, this season. And the only other player is Michael Adams in 1990 <laughs> and 1991. <laughs> I don't even know who Michael Adams is. Nah. Exactly. But I, and, and I'm so sorry to cut y'all off. Good. But what really gets me upset, right? So I got this roommate. He's one of my best friends, long-term friend. That's my dog, right? Mm. He tried to tell me that Jalen Brunson deserved an all-star spot. Over Trey Young, I just don't see it. Talk to me. A lot of people are on the uh, Jalen Brunson hype right now and because the last year, year the, and a half. The same thing the with Ty- go ahead, go ahead. same thing with uh, Tyrese Halliburton. They're on the hype right now because he's been doing this for a year. Mm-hmm. But Trey Young's been averaging twenty points, eight assists since he stepped in the league. His rookie he year. In the league, you can't just go off for one one year and and think he's over a person so, who's been doing so this for this is the years. argument this is the argument that i received because he also is a Knicks fan he said right. to me he said well jalen brunson took us to the playoffs and won a series mm-hmm. but then i thought about it trey young has been doing this for multiple years and has done the same thing and swept the Knicks. yeah oh um, i'm sorry not s- actually swept the Knicks, but Definitely beat the Knicks. That's where the shoulders exactly. Came from. Definitely beat the That's Knicks. Where the shoulders came from. So I just, I just, I just want to know, like, yo, Jaquil, how are you feeling about the snub? Because I, I agree with y'all. He is a snub, and it's a shame that he's been snubbed for three years. There's just so many guards in the league, but 
minus that fact that there's so many guards in the league that deserve all-star spots, I just truly believe that the reason that Jalen Brunson is an all-star and, and Trey Young is not is simply for the fact that two reasons. One, he plays for the Knicks. It's the mecca of NBA basketball. Okay. The fan base is probably next to none. Next, probably the only bigger fan base is probably Taylor Swift fans and freaking Michael Jordan fans. Like Nick fans are the same, bro. Boston, you gotta throw Boston. In there. Boston too, but they call the Garden the mecca for basketball for a reason. I you know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. So, uh, he plays for the Knicks, and he's doing well, extremely well. You can't take away from what he does on the court. Him and Dame have the same numbers practically, and Dame is an all-star starter. So that's the only reason that I would say that, um, you feel me, Trey Young has been snubbed this year is because there's so many guards, and Jalen Brunson is on such a high-profile team. The Atlanta Hawks aren't high pro- a high-profile team. Mind you, he is, like, iconic. Everybody knows. The shoulder shrug, exactly. the shoulders and everything. Of course. But he's been doing phenomenal for his team. And, you know, some people criticize him a lot for his defense, and they criticize him a lot for, you know, he has been shooting poorly. His shooting splits aren't the best as of recently. I'm going to tell him watch this. Nah, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I'm just laying out my opinion. I got I got something. So, hey, guys like, you feel me? I got something. So, shooting splits aren't the best. I'm t- you wanted me to know the reasons why he hasn't been picked as an all-star. So that's what I'm telling you. Okay. It's not the yeah. reason. It's not what I believe. As per se, as to why I wouldn't choose him as an all-star, but those are the reasons of like you know I believe the fan bases or the NBA sees him or the fans sees him as not an all-star. Just just for the people out there who think Trey Young don't play defense, or I'm sorry, I'll correct myself. For the people out there who think Jalen Brunson plays better defense than Trey Young, Trey Young averaged more steals, and if we want to pull it up, I'm pretty sure like they averaged the same amount of points getting dropped on them. On a nightly basis, for a fact, they're both yeah. they're both very small yeah. guards. Luca too. Have, yeah, they both. Yeah. <laughs> Luca's a different yeah. story. He's big. He's a big guard. He should be able to defend. He's yeah, but you know, he, does, he doesn't. He doesn't. I mean, it's an effort thing at the end and of the then, day. You feel me? It's like 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 um Grant Williams says. You feel me? He says it's like ninety percent heart, ten percent skill. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? It's what you it's you want to put it in. And it's then, a defensive effort. Is it's an effort. It's more it's more of an effort than a skill. And then but, fellas, I'm sorry to, sorry to cut you off. I got one more thing I want to get ahead, into, bro. and then I'm but, done. Yeah, go ahead. Ready? Yeah. So now talk to me. Shay not the MVP. Shay MVP. Shay not the MVP. No. Who's the MVP? Well, if it's not out Shea, right now. If but, it's if it's not Shay, who is it? Well, I'm a real quick. Joel Embiid's not gonna win MVP this year. He's missed too many games. Well, he has a torn meniscus. Game, he, yeah, he's five yeah, games away from becoming ineligible to get the award because you have to play 65 games. His torn meniscus is a torn meniscus. It doesn't matter if it's a slight tear; it's a tear. Now, of course, he's not coming course. back in five games. He's MVP. Yeah, yeah, he's I, not getting it. Yeah, so the only sure. other people that's gonna get it, in my opinion, would either be Luca, Jokic, or Shea. And of the three, Shea, I, Shea, Shea, Shea. It has to go to Shea. I say Shea. But do you have a yeah yeah have a different opinion you, on that? You got a rebuttal, man. He talk to me. Wait, I talk. To I me. think Jokic. Honestly, if if Joel doesn't get it, Jokic is gonna get it. Mm. I don't. Top, okay, so just hear me the out. the West um, has the most points, assists, and rebounds in the league total. Did you say top of the West? Yes, he's top three in the West. He is not. Oh 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 oh. oh. Player in the West. Okay or, okay. I mean, his top team is top the West. Team. Team. team is top yeah, team yeah. in the West. Cool. I, I got something for all player, that. Go ahead. If you want player, too, no, no, you no, can no, say no. that as well. Mini, He's go ahead. Mini, go ahead. Get your topic out. Oh, no. I, I, that's what I'm doing. Uh-huh. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah top, top three player in the West, top three team in the West, has the most points, assists, and rebounds in the whole league. So, uh, yeah, tell me. Hey, What's, uh, my dog, what do Drew, think? I need you to clip this right here. Ready? He said top three in the West, right? The Thunder are number one. Shea's averaging more. Shea has beat. The Nuggets twice with Joker playing, and also, uh, does Shea have any other All Stars on his team? Name another player in the league right now who is on a team, leading their team, and doesn't have an All Star. Who's team. an MVP candidate? And who is an MVP candidate? Thank you. Um, if we're gonna do that, Trey Young doesn't have another All Star on his team, and he's leading in the league second but, in but, assists. But guess what? And, and but guess what? Points. Trey is not number one so, in the uh, West. Yeah. He's not number one in the West. He's not even close to being number one in the East. And he's not so even. He said name that. another person, so that's and what then I did. Also, and, and then he's also, not an MVP candidate. he's also not an all star, apparently. And not an MVP candidate. You can't be an MVP candidate if you're not an all star. Come on, bro. Nah. 
Say right. more, bro. If Talk to me. Anybody's gonna bro. give Jay a run for his money for MVP is gonna be Luca. It has to be Luca because no offense, Joker can't. He can't. It's not that he can't. I didn't beat just, you. I didn't just, beat you twice, bro. It's not that he can't be him for MVP. It's more of voting fatigue. Okay. It's more of a voting fatigue thing because he's putting up better numbers than Shea. Whole, wholeheartedly, he's putting up better numbers than Shea. I said that all technically. Like all that was Manny's argument, yeah. but all categories. He's, feel me? Voting fatigue. He's, voting he's, when it comes to all star voting. He he, Joker so, don't average thirty. I'm just saying, whatever. That's just Joker. what about rebounds Joker. and assists? Well, who's you got more? it? You got it. You got it. But all I'm right. saying he averaged thirty, bro. Don't do that, bro. And the all star, how they do all star vo- voting is fifty percent uh, fans. 25% uh, media, 25% players in the organization. Mm. So and I think, and then coaches have uh, the the um, the bench, the bench, correct? Coaches um, select the bench, if I'm not mistaken. But, but uh, I know why Manny has all this slander. He has something he wants to tell us. He feels mm. as though that Shea and um, who who were you saying who's better than Shea? Talk to me. Who me, is? I think Donovan Mitchell. You can clip this. Bro. Donovan Mitchell is better than hey. Shea Alexander. Yo, talk to overall them. player, player on player. Donovan Mitchell, his resume is better than Shea's. What yep. has Shea done in the playoffs? Mind you, Shea's been on my team, a rookie since he got drafted. Don't forget on the Clippers. No, I guess that's it. the only time he's been in the playoffs. He did okay. his thing, averaged like fifteen. But uh, after that, uh, what has he done? What? Hold on, question. So. You were you're saying just because Shea does not have playoff experience, right? In the way you would like, that Donovan Mitchell is better than him. Oh, you can look at the resume overall. Is is he's better than him? Donovan Mitchell just won Player of the Month last month, this January. Player of the Month, most valuable player. Where are we going with this? I mean, Shea didn't win most valuable player, so you can't mm. say you can't say he's that. He's a yet. candidate for it. Donovan Mitchell is it? Donovan Mitchell also dropped seventy. Has Shea ever dropped seventy? He doesn't need to. You want to know why? Because he's number one in the West this year. Uh, nah. Luca I, dropped seventy three, but I'm not throwing that in his face. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, man. Hold on. Y'all can continue our conversation now. All right. So this season, talk to me. D. Mitch is averaging twenty twenty eight point one points per game. 5.4 rebounds per game and 6.4 assists. Player of the month this month he averaged 28.6 points per game, 5.2 rebounds per game, and 7.6 assists per game. The last 10 games, 30 points per 30.6 points per game, 5.8 rebounds per game, 1.9 steals per game, shooting 50%. Okay, so I don't have the percentage on what he's shooting, but I'm pretty sure it's a high percent if he's averaging 30. Oh, no, I have it. So, okay, perfect. So I have it down right now that he is overall on the season averaging 31.3. Yeah. Right? Points. Rebounds, he's 5.6. Yeah. Assists, he's 6.4. Shea. Yeah. What does Donovan Mitchell do better than Shea? Mind you, he just won Player of the Month with Evan Mobley out and Darius Garland out, so he had to carry that team. Right. So there's no, there has been no injuries on the Thunder. Yo, do me a favor, everybody uh, watching, all my subscribers. Yo, just comment below, Shea Nation or D Mitch Nation. Mitch, man. Talk to me, cause let me interject real know. quick because my mic it. was tripping for about a couple seconds, but feel me, that was a seamless uh, go through with that. But Shea Nation, man. Shea Nation. Shea Nation. Everything, everything, all the way. Shea Nation. I can see Thunder for the championship, in my opinion. But go ahead. I watched when D. Mitch was in the bubble dropping 40 balls and 50 balls going at it with Jamal Murray back to back to back. I know you guys seen that as well. No, no, no. I definitely did. Mm. Carrying the Jazz in the playoffs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For multiple years. I mean. Did the Jazz get past that first round? Their team wasn't. They, yeah, they had they I had don't, holes in their team, bro. I don't want to do that. No, I'm not doing that. Mitch was out. You want to know 30. why we're not doing that? Mm. Because Shea hasn't had the greatest team nah. yet. Yet alone right now, he doesn't have the greatest team. I just said there's okay. no other All Star on the team, right? Not even an All Star candidate. I'm sorry, but Darius Garland was an All Star last year. I believe if you ask 
99% of people, who would they rather start a franchise with, Shea Gilgis, Alexander, or Donovan Mitchell, they're going to say Shea. 99% of the time. Okay, that's Jeff. wicked. 99% <laughs> of the time, he's just exaggerating. Am I exaggerating? Yeah. Or yeah. I'm exaggerating? 99? That, bro, that's almost 1%. 1%, bro. There's going to be other people that think <laughs> like him. I was gassing? Yeah, you was gassing. I was yeah, gassing, bro. so you were like 45% of the time? 45. 45. You saying 45. people are picking Shea forty five percent of the time? Forty, forty six. Because Donovan Mitchell's been in the league longer. Yes, and just like he said, he does have that playoff experience. But cool, because Shea gonna get that this year. I'm just saying, yeah. He, we have yet to see what Shea can do. He has in the playoffs. Not, in the yeah. playoffs, cool. Well, of course, that's what I'm. He's been in the league since 2019. Well, so yeah, I'm speaking. I'm years. speaking. I'm speaking playoffs because we were talking Donovan Mitchell in the playoffs. So I'm speaking playoffs. He. We have not seen Shea in a playoff setting. So how are, how are you guys going to say Shea is better than the D. Mitch if the most important is the playoffs and okay. the finals? Okay. So in the regular season is probably better, but in the playoffs he hasn't proved anything yet. So okay. you guys so know the playoffs people, is bigger. Were, you people, know. were people saying that LeBron wasn't better than other players in the league when he first came in? You said were people saying why? LeBron, LeBron was respected as better than a lot of people in the league before he even went to the playoffs. Facts. I mean, yeah, they they gave him the name the chosen one in high school. Okay. So yeah, of That's course. What, I'm saying though. So does that? Can you use playoff experience as a whole to say that a player is better than a different player? Because a, a player cannot be too high level players. Yeah. Well, a player cannot have playoff experience just strictly off his team isn't good enough. Facts. It doesn't have anything because to do with of, of how good he is, per se. So now Damian Lillard was in the conversation with Kyrie and Steph. Right. That's a good one. That's a good one. And is Dame better than Shea? You said is Dame better than Shea? Are we talking about resume? right now or no, resume? is Dame better than Shea? Like, would you, would you take general. Dame over Shea? Like, resume? the same question you're asking. No, like, his resume is obviously better than Shea's resume at the moment. Feel me? He has way more career points. But are you saying you're saying as of right now? Who are you as taking? As of right yeah. now, you're as saying. As of right now, I'm taking Shay. You're taking. I'm sorry, I'm, as of right yes, now, I'm right taking now, Shay. Shay because okay. well, so yeah, as of right, right now, so right. as of right yeah. now, D. Mitch or Shay, I'm taking Shay. That's what I'm saying because your argument was playoff experience, right? Hear me out. Your play, your argument was playoff experience. Donovan, I'm sorry. Damian Lillard has a couple walk off shot game sevens in the playoffs. He's a dog. Yeah, I know. He went so, to the East, uh, Western Conference Finals one year. Exactly. So. But you're, but you would say Shea over Dame, correct? Am this, I saying this? I think he would. This season, even last season when he scored seventy. Uh, no, I'm taking Dame. You you taking that version of Dame? You okay. know, Dame right. was killing last season. Are, are you what? serious? No, 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 no. He like, was killing last. He was killing. He was killing. He was killing. But so was Shea. I'm just, I'm just curious to see where your head is at. I'm just asking questions. Yeah, like I mean, like I said from the beginning, he's been doing this for one, one, one and a half seasons. And All right. It's just a hype train. D. Mitch been doing this for since he stepped in the league, averaging twenty since he I stepped in the league. I get that. I That's get that. I get that. So either way, comment. You feel me, Donovan Mitchell? What was your What was your hashtags? <sighs> um, Donovan Mitchell Nation and D. Shea Mitch Nation. D. Mitch Nation, Shea Nation. Talk to me. Or S. G. A. Nation. D. Mitch Nation, SGA man. Nation. You already know D. Mitch Nation. D. Mitch Nation or S. G. A. Nation. We gonna run with those. You feel me? The but Spider. Well, Spider Nation would be tough. Too. Spider, Spider Nation. Nation. Yeah, nah, nah, sure. don't, nah, don't Spider Nation now. Don't Spider Nation okay. now. Okay, well, let's move on to the next topic. No, no, that one. Yeah, yeah. This one? Good looking. Thank you. I don't know why that keeps happening. But anyway, Sabrina versus Steph. Sabrina Yanescu versus Stephen Curry. I got to jump into that. Bro, I'm stop sorry. it, bro. Who's winning? Stop <laughs> it, bro. Come Who's on, winning? Bro. Sabrina or Steph? Yeah. Look, bro. They, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Steph, man. Hey, yo, it's, yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I ain't Sabrina lie, got that bro. thing on her, bro. She got that thing. Are on they shooting from NBA regulation three point line, or where are they shooting I from? I think they're shooting um, from I'm NBA. I'm not sure. I think, I think NBA, bro. I think NBA because the yeah. WNBA three point line is closer, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so of course, of course. Give me, give me Steph, man. Right. Hey, yeah. I mean, uh, no matter what, where the line is, give me, give me Steph. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the line, bros. I think, I think um, Steph was the underdog. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yes. Nah, nah, nah. nah. No, no, no. I, I got to close my laptop. What? I, yes, yes he was the underdog, Steph is the bro. underdog? <laughs> yes, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Fan, yeah, we're running it up. On it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. On, again, that's cool. Yeah. Fan door, here I come. Nah, I'm what? not going to lie. If nah, Steph lose me my money, nah, I'm going to be hot. 500 on Steph. I'm going to be hot. 
I think it was like plus two sixty. I'm not gonna hold plus two sixty. <laughs> Like I don't know if it was I think I don't know if it was FanDuel DraftKings but I saw it was like plus two sixty, bro. Who they yeah, Steph? You know, it's the greatest shooter of all time. Plus yes. two sixty. Yeah, bro. I don't know what they they off. I guess like, they it's because she hit twenty five out of what? I'm sorry, twenty seven out of what was it? How many shots did she miss? Two. Uh, she just missed two shots. Sure. Yeah. She just missed two shots. I know. I don't know how many shots they took. Hey, but I know she just missed two hey, shots. Hey, Sabrina. <laughs> I love you, girl. But like, I'm going Steph. I'm sorry. <sighs> My fault, Sabrina. Yeah, man. <laughs> so my, it's, it's Wardell, man. What can you do? It's Wardell. Wardell, Stephen Curry. You feel me? You already know. Four NBA championships, final MVP. Oof. <laughs> um, I got one. So, my Lakers the other day played the Boston Celtics. Y'all know where I'm going with this? Austin Reeves? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's not even without, where I'm going with or this. Without AD and LeBron. Without AD and LeBron. Austin Reeves went crazy. I think he had the, 32. He had 32. And I think he hit seven threes. Yeah. I'm he, pretty sure he hit seven threes. 5% shooting. Yeah, he, was, he was killing. Yeah, he, he was, was killing, killing all the night. Mm-hmm. So, look, this is my dog. thing. And he was so, pulling from hell. And the only reason I'm saying this, right, is because I'm a Lakers fan. I'm trying to stir the pot a little bit. Of course. Okay. Do the Boston Celtics just suck? As an organization, I, I said that I, I'm not. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm not gonna lie. I, I suck as an I organization said that because hear me out. Weeks ago, hear me bro, out. They're hear still me looking out. for pieces, bro. bro they play iso ball one on one. They, they, don't they have literally game get plan. to the playoffs <laughs> every year. They get to the playoffs every year mm-hmm. and fold mm. every year. So you're saying they're like. Um, the Cowboys of the NBA, literally, and yeah, pe- and, 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 and peep yeah. game and peep game. You got rid of the second best defender in the league. Marcus and Drew, Smart. And Drew Holiday? Oh. Ooh. And then you gave them the <laughs> best. That's my take on it. That's my take on it. Drew Holiday <laughs> is on the team now. Like, hear me out. Oh, Let me finish. Nah. You got rid of the second best defender in the league to get the oh, first was, best defender in the league. win DPOY. Exactly. Yeah, he did. That's why I said that. So, in my opinion, the second best defender in the league, you took him out of there <laughs> and you put, you put the best defender in the league and – I don't feel like anything has changed. I think your offense is still the same. I think you added him and Porzingis thinking it was going to – and it just – it doesn't do it. I will not say that they suck as an organization. I will say, though, that I think they just go into every season thinking that the same thing is going to work because um, Tatum's quote on, you know, Kobe and Pau Gasol, he feels as though Kristaps is his Pau Gasol. I'm like, Kristaps is not durable. Yeah, he's he not cannot stay on the court, bro. That's my they guy, but he's not. All these pieces away, and Marcus Smart to get him, and he can't stay on the floor. I don't, I can't trust him in playoffs, bro. I think when the physicality goes up, he's already getting injured now. Physicality goes up in the playoffs, so yeah, I don't think he's gonna ha- be a factor. I think he's gonna play a couple games. He might be in for a series, and he'll might get, he might get injured by round two. I don't think he's gonna. Do much for them, so well, hopefully not. But yeah, I'm not putting injury on any players. You know, I'm just stating for fact that he is injury prone. He's been injury prone since he got into the league since no, New for York. Sure. So, for sure, for sure. So I just don't think that he's um, a good fit for them. But well, fit for them because he's not durable enough. Um, Personally, I think Joe Mazzula sucks. That's, <laughs> I mean, they need to get, they need to get him he's out of ter- he's, he's a terrible He's, a terrible he's terrible. I ain't going to lie. Ime Udoka got the Rockets looking crazy. Yeah. This year. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, he was a perfect forget all the Celtics, bro. Forget, forget all the stuff that he did with whoever. You feel me? They should have kept that man, bro. Yeah. yeah. It was perfect for the him, Celtics. Bro. They should have kept that man, bro. They made it to the finals with him, bro. Like, exactly. they should have kept him, bro. And Celtics just play iso ball all day. All just day, bro. Jalen Brown and Tatum. Brown and <laughs> Zingy. If we watch the games, mm-hmm. all they do is run iso. They don't want yeah. to set up any plays for anyone. It's actually the only time, and literally all they do is you got Payton Pritchard, you got um my boy, um what's his name? Um, He's the white the white boy on the team that shoots as well, too. He's a big man. Sam, Sam Hauser. Sam Hauser or Luke uh, Cornett? Sam, Sam Hauser is that who I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, Sam Hauser is a shooter. All they do is get the defensive board, push the court, and push the field. Sorry, push the court, and then they just dish it to somebody in the corner or sitting on a wing because Tatum and, and Brown, feel me, they demand so much attention that these players are left open, and they just swing, swing, swing. And if they're missing, they're just that's the easy recipe to beat the Celtics is just hope that they're missing because you're not going to shoot 40% from three every game. For the past four years, Celtics have the highest uh, three-point shooting attempts yeah, they're in the whole league. Right. So- just nope. hear me out. You realize they've been to like the last like ten playoffs straight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> lost and I, and <laughs> they've lost 
every single one. Mm. Size 2022. Size 2022. And when they went to the finals and they yeah. lost to Curry. Uh, but, yeah, even that for me, like, bro, you lost. Yeah. Like, yeah, yo, yeah, you I know. lost. I know. Like, I know. A couple things, because we do got to move on, though. I'm not trying to cut the conversation short. A couple things, because we do got to get our guest on. Yes, but, sir. Um, I just want to give the tribute to Marcus Gasol's retirement, you know. Marcus Gasol, I mean, yes, a, sir. Marcus Gasol. Career. Yes, sir. Um, what else? Problem um, on the Grizzlies. Yeah, the fines from the Sixers, the 75K fine for not reporting Joel Embiid's injury on time. They reported yes, it 15 minutes. He's been ducking Jokic in Denver, bro. Do you really think that's the case, or you no, think? He hasn't uh, played in Denver since 2019. It's 2024. What's yeah, the but like. They play, they play two times a year, so you're telling me you missed six straight games playing in Denver? Yeah, I mean it's not, it's definitely sus. Do you think sus. he's actually ducking? I don't think he's actually ducking him, bro. I mean, hey, I, he's always there. Jokic always meets him in Philly, but I guess Jokic is an Iron Man. But either way, he hasn't played in Denver since 2019. So, in my opinion, yes, he's ducking. So, yeah, I understand. That's all narrative right now because he missed the game 15 minutes before. But um, you also got to realize the medical st- he, the coaches uh and players don't make the decision strictly. Mm. Medical staff ruled him out to play 15 minutes before the game. Mm. So that's that's all. And you know how injury prone uh, Joel is. Yeah, for that's, a fact. That's all. You have to put that all into, into fact. For a fact. I ain't and hating he, on him. I just like, I just want to cause some controversy. No, nah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. And Joel, he, what does he need to duck for? He aver- he literally averages forty on on Jokic. So <laughs> something so something <laughs> important. <laughs> something very important. Sorry, because I know we press for time a little bit. Um, Tony Snell, bro. Oh yeah, Tony Snell, bro. Nah, nah, uh, he didn't get the ten day. He did not get so the ten day. For y'all that don't know, um, the Player Club Association has a premium medical package that they offer to ten year vets. Um, Tony Snell had nine seasons. He just needed a ten day contract to get it for his kids. Um, they're both autistic, yeah, both by the way. Autistic. Both of his kids have. But autism. they gave Taj Gibson a ten days for the Knicks. Yeah, no, no, nah, nah. it's. They could have They could have put him on the Pistons. Yeah, but they, they could have put him on the Pistons. They could have put him on any team. team. And they said NBA is a family, but they're not treating their vets or retired players right. or former players like like a family. Yeah, no. so I hope everything is good with him and his family, man. So uh, it's a shame that he couldn't get that. You feel me? But um, of course. Yeah, I just want to pray. Prayers out to him. Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely wanted to uh, show some light on that. That's a little crazy to me. Sure. Prayers out to him and his his children. Yeah, I wish I wish you the best, Tony. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, we're done with our sports topics. We about to bring our guest on. All right. So you're just gonna see him. You can come on now. Uh, it's my boy Fitch. Can we get a round of applause for my boy Fitch? Oh y'all both. Yes, yes, sir. Mike. Brother. Turn up his mic. Oh, yeah, you got to turn, turn on mic. the thing. Yeah. And turn that one up. Yeah, just match it with everybody else's. Oh, you you might have put it too high for him. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, just match it with everybody else's. Yeah. Yeah, bring it back. You hear us, Gangy? You, you good? Audio we good? Loud? Yeah, I can hear you. You good? Right, you good? What's up? Can let her know. Yeah, you good. You good. You good. How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling, dog? I'm How good, bro. I'm honestly a little anxious. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, it's all right, bro. Oh, good, we was bro. nervous at first. Oh, bro, we didn't, we, so bro, we didn't drink not one lick of water, bro. Not yeah. one lick of water, yeah, bro. Yo, look, look, look. I don't even know what my water look, is. Look, look, look. It's down there. It's yeah. down there right there. <laughs> oh, I should take a sip. <laughs> Nah, I appreciate you for having me, though. I appreciate yeah, you. Appreciate no you problem. Me, no bro. problem. Okay. Nah, yeah, we appreciate you for coming on, bro. Yeah, man, sure. we got some questions for you about your brand, um, Link Up Tuesdays. Um, you feel me? So, the first question, uh, Manny, did you want to ask him the first question, or you want to start? I'll start it. All right, cool. So, for those who don't know you and your brand, can you please explain what Link Up Tuesdays is and what the idea originated from? Um, Link Up Tuesdays, aka the Link Up, is um, it's a dance space. Um, basically somewhere where anybody can come and express themselves dance wise. Um, but it's mainly known for the battling segment. Mm. Um, that's what everybody loves it for. But anybody can just come there and just enjoy the vibes and dance and be free. But the the most exciting part for everybody is mainly the battles. So. Mm. That's the battles are dope. If y'all haven't already checked it out, bro, I'll I've be in the description below to his channel, YouTube channel. I've watched yes, way sir. too many videos, and there's so many talented people. He's talented himself. I think y'all really should tap in with my dog. Yeah. So for those who don't know, um, you know anybody that's not where we live, what dance styles are in your or do the battles consist of? Um, it, it started with Jersey Club. 
and it's it's still mainly based around Jersey Club, but we just wanted to open it up for anybody in any um genre of dance. Okay. To be able to be a part of it if they wanted to. So it's mainly Jersey Club, but anybody can come. That's what's up. That, that's that. dope. Yeah, that's so dope, bro. I love that. So for non dancers and a non dancer uh point of view, if someone wants to start dancing, um, would you guys be able to teach them or how does that work? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of people um that are actually teachers, you know, mm. in, uh, in Jersey Club dance. So um, we got teachers. We got, you know, any type of style you could possibly want to learn. You could go up to them, and I'm sure they wouldn't mind showing you some things. Mm. That's what's up. That's, that's uh, good. Yeah. That's good. So reflecting back on Leak Up's history, uh, what were your personal goals for, like, you know, when they first started? And, like, did they, like, like, as far as the brands, did they, like, overshoot your goals you had for it? Mm. Um, Initially, I feel like my goals were to, like, bring everybody together. Mm. Um, That was, like, the main goal because everybody was just on Instagram, you know, like, dropping videos and stuff. Um, mm. It was to bring everybody outside. That was the main goal. And then, like, as it started to grow, I started to gain different goals. Um, of course. You expand. Yeah. And we started in a parking lot, too. That's the crazy part. Bro. Yeah, Bro. people. Yeah. That's, that's dope. Yo, that's for dope. those who don't know, I know, I, I've known him for a long time. Literally, Link Up Tuesday started at a park around the corner from our house. Like, we used to live near each other. And we used to be just have everybody pull up to the park, and we would just have a battle, like, setting. Like, before it even, like, started, like, being actual battles, we would just be, like, together, a bunch of people together, just dancing to Jersey Club, you know, whatever, just experiencing, like, being outside with each other. It was such a vibe, man. It was such a vibe being in Conan Park. For sure, for sure. And I just I just mentioned that because, like, when we started to grow and it started to get too big, that was around the time uh, COVID was, like, coming out or something like that. So they wasn't really allowing us to, to group up in mm. public. Yeah. So at that point, the venue became a goal because we got to make it private now. So just just goals just kept coming and still be coming. So know. it was probably hard. They were probably trying to, like, regulate you and made certain things a lot difficult for people to come out and just all be in one space, right? Yeah, they, they tried to – they actually shut us down a few times. I got mm. fined probably, like, one time, you know, fined and things like that. Because you needed the permit yeah. for the park and stuff like that? that yeah, I, you know – I loved, I loved, um, and I still love Link Up, but, you know, um, you just got to do stuff the right way, mm, you know, of course, um, of course. when it comes to the law and legal, legally, you just got to do things the right way, bro, so I had to learn, yeah. you know, and and they made me better, you know, right. like, making that mistake and having to fix it made me better um, business-wise, so. Speaking of awesome. making mistakes, um, how have you personally dealt with negative criticism and or lack of support throughout the years? And how have you kept po a positive mindset through the adversity of building your brand? Yeah, bro, I think that's a great question. Um, honestly, I feel like I'd be lying if I say it didn't affect me. Like, um, mentally. Yeah, mentally, it it kind of messed me up in a sense a little bit. But I feel like I had to grow to um to learn that I should focus more on the love and the support I was getting. Course. Um, mm -hmm. instead of the negative energy because those are the people that are clearly there for you. They're there you for know, you. Like, mm -hmm. They for support sure. what you got going on. So mm. I feel like focusing on the love and support is the main answer, like kind of like Xing out the negativity because yeah. if you focus on that, you bring energy to that, it's it's only going to make you trip over yourself. You know, right. like, yeah, for so sure. I feel like. Well, I told you as soon as you stepped in the door, man, ain't nothing but love over here. I support you. Whatever you need, bro. You also you. too, bro. I support you too. I appreciate y'all. No cap. Just sure. dope yeah, energy, bro. and I love it. You know, misery definitely loves company. So you gotta, you know, look the other way when it comes to that. You know, because the ones who truly support you are gonna be there for you when you're down and when you're up. So you feel me? You, you could tell because the ones that are that that are hating and have jealousy and envy, they're gonna be there for you when you're down because they're down there with you. Mm -hmm. And once you start to elevate and reach a new level their character chart starts to shift and that's when you could tell when someone is not a true supporter. You know? That's definitely a fact. I have my, my few experiences. You know it you know, you you might lose friends. You might, you know, you gain people that you didn't know you needed, you know, like in life. God, yeah. Like God will put the right people in your life and take yeah. certain people out. You might have to fall back. Mm. It's just it's a business it's a business. Like when you get serious with certain things like people that are not like minded or on that uh, wave frequency with you, mm -hmm. it's like gotta fall back from them. You know, you got 
Yeah. Got to be around people that's like minded yeah. like you. So like, look where you started. Like you guys said, you started in the park, and you guys grew from there. And have you seen different people change in and out the group because they oh. weren't like minded on on your uh, mindset? Um, not for sure. Um, it was definitely pe- more people involved. Um, I would say maybe their goals changed too. You know, like mm, people's sure. goals be changing too. It don't. It's you know nothing's written in stone. You know, just because you start something with somebody or you get them involved, they don't mean they got to stay there. You know, something could inspire them. Yeah, people grow over time yeah, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, I get that. It's important to not um hold anything. Heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. important to not butt heads over that and um because y'all could possibly do something together and y'all both grow it. You know, so it's it's just ways to, it's multiple ways to think about different situations like that. And For you sure. gotta you kind of gotta go through it though to learn that. Cause yeah, everybody mm-hmm. don't. I think, like you said, you just gotta be able just like. You can receive love. You got to be able to dish that out, too, because, like, fact. everybody trying to, you know, feel me? Like, even with our podcast, like, we love each other. We're going to come in, and we're going to actually do the work. But Manny split off, and it's like, yo, like, I got another opportunity. I'm never going, you feel me, right. make him feel yeah. some type of way yeah. for it's all chasing love. whatever he want to do. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, so, like, you got anything in the future plan recently, like, uh, in the near future, I should say, for a link up? Or do you want to just, like, Say, stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, tap me in, my boy, because I need to know. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I, I will say um, I got a vlog about to drop. Okay. About to drop a vlog. Um, okay. I popped right. out to another battery event. You feel me? It was good to go over there and show them some love. Mm. Trying to make more connections. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah, for sure. So I, I vlogged that experience, and that was dope. Um, The vlog that um we was at the same event, and I was, yes. I think you caught yeah. me in some of, the, some of it? Okay. Yeah, we All definitely right. in there. You got Kill in there. You feel me? Yeah. He's answering a lot of right, questions. You know, I was answering some questions, yeah. So it's, it's definitely a dope um dope content. Uh, what else I got going? I got a, I'm a, I got a link up plan, like, in between now and maybe March. I'm going to do some. I'm trying to, like, expand the horizon of the channel. I understood. Um, yeah. So I don't really want to be just in the battle event box. I want mm. it to be surprising to see. Yeah, what yeah. never put yourself yeah. in the box. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Never put yourself so in the box. Like anonymous. Yeah, yeah, like just on some, you just never know what yeah. you might see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, quick little fun question. Now that we got feel me your brand questions out the way, uh, excuse me. Layup for fifty k, a three point shot for one million dollars, a half court shot for fifty million dollars. Or a full card shot for a billion dollars. You have one chance at any one of those shots. Which shot do you take? Oh no, bro! I feel like I thought you I had answer my, this question. Thought, by the way, I thought I, I had answer. my answer, but then you just asked me. Well, not asked myself. I picked the three point, but when you asked me, I just picked the half court. Mm. Oh no! I just you I don't want to take the half court shot for fifty, <laughs> for 50 mil. I don't know. I just <laughs> you know how hard that shot. Is? I don't know. I just feel like I'll be the one to make it, bro. I don't <laughs> hey, know. You gotta I, believe hey. in yourself. At the end of the day, it's confidence. It's confidence. Nah, you definitely gotta believe in yourself. Give me the fifty k for the layup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you take that fifty k. I was bro, gonna say, I, bro, I turn the fifty k yeah. into a bill. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? I, yeah. I think smart. Think bill. smart. I, I'm a shooter. I'm a three point shooter. But give me that. <laughs> yeah, give me the fifty k. I don't blame y'all it. either. That's the layup right there. Give me that fifty k, bro. Turn it to hundred. Sorry, what? Come here. Just yeah. Turn it to hundred. Yeah. Turn it to hundred. Fact. Ah. But if, ah. I miss, if I miss that layup, though, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm, I miss the layup, I'm never yeah. showing my face yeah, ever I'm, again. I'm it's never over. Playing with. ball, touching yeah. the yeah. ball. <laughs> the amount of pressure <laughs> under under that layup is probably gonna be the most like pressure. You ever every time, the every time you see a basketball from for the end of life, bro, you just gotta. Nah, I'm gonna walk the other yeah, way. Yeah, bro. Like, it's, it's definitely over. possible to miss that layup. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. It's possible. You know how many layups I just threw up and was like, oh, how I missed that? So, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I missed a couple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Possible. Same man, yeah, same man. Your hands gonna be OD sweaty. Oh, these sweaty, bro. Mad, <laughs> mad, look, 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 mad cameras on you. Mad cameras. 40,000 people around. Like, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, nah, yeah, bro. Nah, but, nah. But still, give me, give me that 50K, though. Yeah, give me that 50 Yeah, yeah, no. I'm a lace it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. I do it like if you missed it, if you missed a layup, you lose 50K. Oh, oh. nah, that's even more pressure. <laughs> okay, like, you, bro. Yeah, he's bugging right now. Like, like, I'm gonna have, to be, see, on, yeah, I'm gonna have yeah. to be on Squid Games trying to relieve my debt. You bugging? I'm me on green, red light, green light. Nah, it's like. With. Or, but um, <laughs> real quick, can you give me your top five NBA players? Um, I could, I could be all time, could be current. Mm-hmm. Just your top five personal players, or if you don't even got um, five, whatever. Just give me a list. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Kobe. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. 
You feel me? I'm gonna say, mm, I want to keep it simple. Kobe, Kyrie. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I right, got my boy Kai in there. You feel me? Uh, who else? Jordan. Okay. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Let me see. Maybe uh, Larry Bird and Dr. J. Oh, oh right. Larry Bird, I'm not Larry Dr. Bird. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. No, no, they don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Larry being in there, I got respect for you. Hey, man. but real quick before we end the show, though, real yes, quick sir. before we end the show, we because he put Larry on that list. Ooh, I gotta say. Luke. So look, guys, we need your thoughts. Put it right in the uh, comment section right below. Is Luca the coldest white boy to ever play the game? Mm. Ended it just like that. Yeah. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give my answer. By the end of his career. It's gonna be a Luca. Word up. <laughs> oh, I, oh, Not I. at all. But uh, he'll never pass Larry. We'll leave it up. We'll leave that but one up to the comments. I'm not man. I'm not talking to him anymore. Never pass Larry. Like we'll leave that one up to the comments, man. And with that, man, it's a wrap. 3MJ, so we out. Bad. Hit the button. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. We appreciate the 3MJ Nation, man. Um, shout out my guest that pulled up today, the real Fitch, man. That's my boy, for real, for real. We go way back. Um, shout out to my editor. Moody dot Moody dot DV, you know you already know what it is. Shout out my team, Mustafa and Manny. Y'all see, you will see all our IGs below below me right here on the screen. Um, you can follow our IGs if you would like to. We would appreciate it. The links to everything, the Spotify is gonna be in the description below. Please go to the Spotify or Apple Podcasts or wherever you get it and leave us five stars. A lot of time and effort goes into these videos to entertain y'all, and we just want to give y'all the best thing ever, you know, and the quality that we put out, man. We appreciate y'all. All right, we out, man.